Hello everyone, it is Malachi with Essence Cartoon. All right, and today we're gonna to be talking about CapCut. This is the ultimate editing tool. Our studio uses this. Some of us still use Premiere for some reason, but everyone else is using CapCut. We do use After Effects still, so this doesn't replace After Effects, but this thing is a monster. It's a monster and we're gonna go right into it. I know there's a billion cap cut videos on YouTube. Uh, this one is different. This, what you're about to watch is way different than anything that's on YouTube right now. At least as of right now. And of course, when people see this video, they're probably gonna make replicas, but just know that you've seen it here first. So please subscribe, because you're about to learn a whole bunch of stuff. First thing you'll notice is that this lady has acne on her face. I'm going to show you how to remove that. Normally when you're using After Effects, it's harder, even with Premiere. So with CapCut, it's like a few clicks. So you go to Video, go to Enhance, then you click on Face, and this is where the magic starts to happen. Um, you can't use the scroll bar or the scroll wheel, whatever you call that. You got to use this thing to zoom in, and then you got to move this. Eh, I don't like that too much, but that's fine. I'm not going to be picky about it. If you crank this all like this, it looks unnatural, so you don't want to do that. What you want to do is just adjust these like this. Always go to the end, and then once it starts to look normal again and not unnatural, that's when you scale it back. Don't let it look unnatural. That's, now, we're going to scale this back to what it was, which is right, right there. And we're going to just keep working with this. We can brighten the eyes if she has red eyes. Remove the dark circles. You can brighten the face, sometimes that helps. Whiten the teeth, hang on, let me see your teeth. Uh, show me your teeth. All right, yeah, that didn't sound creepy at all. Um, let me see. Yeah, remember, don't make it pure white. You can change the skin tone. So you can go here, if she wants a tan, you can make her have a tan, uh, all that kind of stuff. This is pretty, pretty good. I'm, sh I'm sure she probably would want something like this. Um, hang on, make sure. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna bring her color out a little bit. We're gonna m make sure we change the degrees. This is how far we go. Like this, this is, we need to, we need to do this. Now, the only problem is this, I picked this video because of the extreme on her face, but you might be saying, whoa, you didn't get rid of the, that. Now in After Effects you can get rid of this, it takes a lot of time, but most of the time with most actors and actresses you're not going to run into this. This is again, this is an extreme situation. But if you look before and after, huge difference, huge. The only thing that's left is that zip that's right there. This is pretty damn good, that's all I'm saying. Um, if you go to Facial Beauty, you can affect the face, I never use this. I never use this. Um, it just deforms things. If you're gonna do anything like this, any type of like uh, this deforming of her face or of a person's face, then you should remove them from the background if you're gonna do this. Otherwise, it's not gonna be a good time for you. Um, you can add makeup to her. She has no makeup, so I can just click on here and just add makeup. Don't make her look like a clown. Um, but you can do like natural makeup, so this is natural. That's usually what you'd want to do. You don't want to do anything ridiculous. I would just do natural makeup and call it a day. You do need pro for a lot of these things. You want to make her into a Barbie, you can. But yeah, natural makeup, no natural makeup. See how different that is? So now we, and this tracks with the face, like this is tracking. And then you have the degrees. Now this again, if you want to do things with her uh, body, you have to remove her from the background. Otherwise, this won't look good. Um, you can play around with these different things here, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Other thing that you can do is you can add filters. And that's right there. I never use this. I don't even know why I just told you about it. I don't, I never use this. Um, if I'm gonna do any type of editing, then I'm gonna go to adjustment but I would probably do um, an adjustment layer so that way it's non-destructible 
to the actual footage. This is the easiest way to do it. And then you would go and just do auto adjust. And look at that. You can just see, always, you're never gonna use that 100%. You see, how, you see the difference of this? This is crazy, it's nuts. Now, another thing you can do is you can do color match and then you pull from a source. You can go from a source or you can go to a local source. I'm gonna find a, a photo. Let's try this one. You can't see my screen, so I'm hiding it. Let me, uh, it's, on a, it's just on another monitor. So I'll show you the photo, this is the photo. So if we do color match like this, it will color match what we have. So now we're color matching. Turn it off, that's what it looks like before, that's what it looks like now. That's a color match. That you can only do in Premiere and DaVinci Resolve. And it takes way more time. This is nuts. What I just showed you is crazy that you can do this. So now you can color match your favorite movies and your favorite TV show, Color Space. So it's this is crazy right here. So now we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Now we're not out the woods yet. So if we do the uh, HSL, and let's say I want her hair to be a little bit more saturated, but I don't want anything else saturated. I can crank this up and I can crank this down, but you'll notice that her face is changing. So what you have to do is you go back to here and if you scroll down, you see where it says skin tone protection, make sure you turn that on. If you have it off, it's gonna affect this. If you're doing anything where you wanna protect the skin, everything I just did on this adjustment layer needs to be put on this um, footage layer. That way, it's, the skin is not getting so yellowish. Fortunately, I didn't do that, so that's shame on me, but I do like, but that's, that's fine. So this is, this is with it on. You do have curves. I don't think you'll need curves at all. If you want to take down the red a little bit, you can, but don't really have to. Yeah, just a little bit. Maybe we can slide this over. Yeah, I, I would just leave it alone for this because that color match really helped a lot. You have your color wheels. It's a beautiful thing. Honestly, color grading in, uh, in CapCut is better than After Effects or Premiere. You have a whole bunch of stuff here. So we can change the temperature. You can make it warmer cooler I kind of like this like that again when I'm color matching I don't need to uh, do too much you can increase the uh, contrast a little bit you can increase this a little bit the highlights and take down the shadows I do this all by uh, by just looking at it and we see illumination yeah I don't want to I don't want to like, have it too crazy Sharpness can be like eight, maybe that's 10 is a lot, maybe six or five, four, five is good. And then clarity, this is what it looks like cranked up. This is just more so similar to uh, contrast, maybe like a one. You can save this as a preset too. If you want to add a vignette, you can add vignettes like this. Um, if you want to fade, you can fade it. It's going to add more to the grayscale. Particles is kind of just particles should be renamed as um, noise. I don't know why they call it particles. It should be called noise. If you want to add like noise or grain, that's what's that. That's exactly what this is for. Um, but you see how much this has changed the footage. That's this is before and this is after. Um, I'm gonna take down the, the vignette and put it to like a two just to give it a little bit so not too much but you can see now she doesn't have acne now right because we're using cap cut it's amazing click on caption now we're going to do auto text uh where is it let me, let me push this over auto captions back in the day it used to always say uh, german or chinese um, now we're lucky enough for it to say English. Um, you can identify filler words and remove it. I don't know how well that works. That's just something brand new. You can even do bilingual captions, which is amazing because I would love to add Spanish on there. Um, 
but yeah other than that that's pretty much it so go ahead and hit generate if you don't want to identify filler words um, you don't have to check that and if you don't have pro why don't you have pro yeah definitely use the link in my uh, in my description to get pro if you use my link I do get a commission from it so just keeping it 100 oh yeah so this is the other thing this is new I never actually used this feature where you can actually delete words and change words this is amazing like this is game changing right here and you can remove the filler words so you just click that I'll remove all filler words that should that should make things smooth then you go to action or animation there of course there's tons of new animations but the animation you want to use is hang on let me go back is caption and right now this is every week this the trend changes so what I tell you now may not be the trend if you're watching this months from now or weeks from now uh, let me see if I can find it so sometimes we'll use this one but there's, a, there's actually a newer one and I don't see it I don't know if they took it away or if it's just for the uh, iPhone but there is another one that's like a thousand times better than that one that's fine we'll just keep using that one and then we have the text so we would just pick the text we want to use which would be under basic and then I use the bold font so this is kind of this is the way it would look if you hit play and then you can scale up so affect all the uh, fonts or all the, uh, the words And then you do want to make sure you're in a safe zone. So to check the safe zone, um, you just go to this, drop that in. Here, let's do it this way. And then you just go here. And I'll probably make another video on how I did that, how, why I have stuff in this uh, folder. But um, for now, just understand you should have some type of safe zone. For your text. Oops. You can just hit undo. That'll bring it back. And then if you need to uh, make it like that, that's how you do that. Um, again, the reason why I'm doing this video, this is for editing videos like this. So that's the reason why I do it. That's the reason why I'm doing this. Alright, so it's in the safe zone now. Now we, don't, we can hide this, we don't need this. And we play it. And then the audio is, actually the sound is really good. Um, I was gonna show this um, with the sound on for this video, but you can't hear the sound because the way it's recorded. I will just say this, if you have a lot of echoing in your video and I, like I said I'll make a separate video specifically for this what I typically will do especially if the video is very low I will cl click on loudness normalization that's perfect for that but um, if the video is really bad what I would do is um, I would do vocal isolation I'm not gonna do that now and then I'll do noise reduction I'll do these two things I don't I rarely ever use this because it sounds too robotic if I need, if it gets real bad, or if it's not, I'm not liking the sound, I may use this and this together, um, but I, it's rare. Then you have translate your videos into another language. Never use that. It's the first time in my life I've ever seen this. That's how often the uh, the uh, CapCut updates. I've never seen this before. Highly recommend you guys take, check this out because that's how Mr. Beast group blew up on uh, YouTube. And now you have a free software that does it for you. It's very expensive. I don't know how accurate it is unless you speak multiple languages and you can check it for yourself. Be careful with this. It's, after all, it's ran by AI, so you don't know how, you don't know how accurate the language interpretation is. Um, but other than that, that is pretty much it. Really quick though, before I uh, end this video, if you need to change speed, this is another reason why I like CapCut. I can simply click on speed and I can just adjust speed like this. It's, it's bananas how fast it is and you can also make sure that the voice does not change just keep that off 
if you want the voice chain to change you can keep it on you can put it on but it's no reason for that uh, this really quick too you do have like templates for text um, you could generate your own text effects which is I've tried that not too fun not that much fun and then um, you have text templates which I use a lot because they're animated and it's like so many that you'll just waste time looking for looking for them so that's why you want to make sure you favorite these and that way you're not looking for them um, I have them favorite I thought I favored some of these but when they when TikTok or not TikTok when CapCut does an update they will delete your favorites so that's probably why they're not there um, oh yeah there you go sometimes they'll pop up sometimes they'll disappear but yeah you can see these are the ones I have favorite and I just favorite that one um, one other thing is the uh, the effects so I'll show you my favorite effects just for the sake of time so the mosaic and you can preview these so you don't want someone to be seen you can do this or you can do you can duplicate the layer like this and then add the mosaic effect and then you can create a mask and this is I want to show this so you can see why this is so cool so you can create a mask like that that way we're watching a black mirror episode there we go see you can cur you can actually track mass i believe tracking motion track so you can actually motion track the mass and then you can just hit start and it'll start tracking the mass you can also track objects on a person's face too and it works pretty much the same way but that's how that works and then you have some effects you can do and you have transitions a lot of stuff you can just check it out on uh, on YouTube but yeah so yeah transitions and stuff if you want to do a transition just cut it in half drop it in very simple easy and then it'll do the transition like this simple as that um, we did caption, we did filters, which I never use. You can have AI characters, which is crazy. You can have the voice change as well. That's under audio. So under voice changer, you can have the characters uh, talk differently. But anyway, that's pretty much it. If you do want me to make more and want me to go more into the audio stuff, leave a comment on this video and I'll make that. Uh, other than that, Oh yeah, and if you want me to do VFX, how to do VFX in CapCut, I'm down to do that as well. All right, see ya. Adios, amigos.